I look different, don't I? I'm filming today's video completely out of boredom and curiosity. Two of the best motivators in the world. <laughs> Hi and welcome back to my channel. My name is Salah and I do really, really fun, weird things to hair. All sorts of hair. Usually it's to my hair, but recently I dyed my roots yellow. <laughs> deciding to maybe it's it's best to step away from my hair or lest I do something even stupider years ago I was obsessing with like emerald and like getting the perfect thing and like when I obsess about something I like obsess until I actually get the thing that I'm obsessing about recently it's been mint the weird pastel light blue green color and I'm like, you know what I've never done in my life before? Mint freaking hair! Mint hair! So, <laughs> let's try it. We're trying it today. I'm not about to bleach this into small bit of hair currently. It's still healthy. I would like to keep it that way. So, we're trying it on a wig. Yay! A particularly long wig. I believe it's 32 inches. This is one by Bellamy, they sent it over. It's beautiful, it's luscious, it's long, it's human hair, but it is, oh my God, why is my nose itching? You ever get that, like a random itch and it does not go away, I can feel it. Do I have a hair on my nose? It's gorgeous, but I do already have multiple blonde wigs that kind of look exactly like this. And I was like, I can create like a really, really dope look if I dye this sort of a minty, sea foamy color and I give it like beachy waves and then look at it, it's, it keeps going. First of all, what does mint actually look like? The first thing that comes up is like this green leafy plant. Where did the color come from? The color mint and the mint plant look nothing alike. Mint. <laughs> As you can clearly see, mint it comes in like seven billion different shades of green blue okay and I'm I'm kind of showing this for the simple reason that I know whatever the outcome end result someone's going to go at it look at it and be like that is not mint there's a lot of mints there's a lot that can be called mint mint hair <laughs> if you look up mint hair apparently You'll find me. <laughs> I completely forgot I did this look. It's also on a wig. I sold this wig. Kind of like her, Nyan. Oh my God, I freaking love her. Now that we've got that out the way, I need to figure out if I even have any colors. How do I make mint? Uh, definitely not permanent colors. Um, green juice. Ooh, kind of minty. I'll take it. Uh, ooh. The, it's by Shrine. It's ooh, that looks minty. It's kind of fun. How did I forget about this? Oh my god. Oh yes. Okay. Maybe these colors. Oh, I ran out of green. I really don't want to use up this one because I feel like I might need it. What if I want to go emerald really quickly? What will I do then? Hello. <laughs> this is the color we're going for. <laughs> Feel free to buy my wig if you want to also have this box. I'll link it below. I need a bow. It's my box of gloves. Look, you're like, ah, fun colors. But... <laughs> All right, let's go. Stuff, I forgot my stuff. Okay, let's go. Okay. I have these two colors from Revolution Hair Care. Green Envy and Midnight Blue. One other thing we need. Wet conditioner. <laughs> Basically, we're going to need something to bulk up the dye and also to dilute the dye massively because this is white. It's going to act like a white paint to our green, which is going to dilute any super, super dark green, such as this one. Let us start. Okay, let's start with uh, applying like a bunch, like literally almost fill up your entire bowl with this. It's really expensive. Why am I using... <clears throat> Slightly cheaper. Okay, now we can actually start adding the green. Aqua by Shrine. And this thing is actually really cool because it's a dye, but it's literally just a dye, so you can't apply this to your hair. You need to like kind of mix it in with a bonder. In this case, it's gonna be conditioner. Oh, that is blue. Oh, that is not mint. That is blue. 
Let's add green. So I'm going in with Arctic Fox Phantom Green. Hmm, closer. This could kind of count like mint, but it's still way too light. I'm going in with Green Envy by Revolution. Then I'm going to go in with the Revolution Midnight Blue. I feel like it looks lighter on camera. This is actually quite like a dense green. Way more pigment. Mint color. This is not cool. Oh my god. Second batch. More green. Ooh. I think I'm gonna leave it as is. Rule number one of dyeing. Let's put on an apron. To start this off, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to wet this entire wig until it's towel dry wetness, literally just with water. The reason for it is it's going to be, ex it's gonna take up an obscene amount of dye to dye this all while it's dry. And second of all, if I do go on it dry, there's a chance the color is going to be a lot more pigmented. If I do it wet, there's a bigger chance of it coming out pastel, which is what I want. So I wanna just wet this really quickly and then I'll be back and I'm gonna put her on, on this thing. Mm, wet hair, stretch it out. All right, now that we're moist, ew, wet hairs. Today we're doing um, Grey's Anatomy. Hello. Dr. Bailey, both patients have productive coughs and signs and symptoms of sepsis. I am probably wrong, but if I'm not, this is infectious. Yours is a super packer, and on top of it, you're a good doctor. And yet, you're letting Alex Correa treat you like a scuff monkey. I am to be honest with you now. Missing her with Evans would be a huge mistake. If that's what you decide. Had your car wash. But just the physical threat. Not in front of them, not even in private. Skin doesn't matter to a surgeon. We'll cut you right through it. Or if I stop to it. My friend said there's always an upside to an injury, and I said she was on crack, and she said, watch, the doctor will be hot. I said the doctor will be old and gnarly. <laughs> Lawyer waited for me to go, but I want to meet him with all of you when his studies come back before we go further down this road, okay? Let's working. Talk about that, because I know you all must have a freak show of your own going on. Who wants to go first? I suppose it had to cover that. I mean, everything else. The operation is extremely risky. You have a higher than normal chance that a surgical complication can kill you. I'm going to leave this on for half an hour. Um, hopefully that'll be enough. To penetrate it just enough to get a pastel color then i'm gonna wash it off and i'm gonna let this completely air dry don't hate dry your wigs trust me i've learned oh i look rough so okay it's gonna make a great before and after it's gonna be great catfishing video this is my wig oh my god look at it look at it i'm not really sure if i can call this mint it looks kind of sea foamy but it de it definitely has is this mint is it? It looks a bit like silvery bluey, especially on camera, but I swear it's got green in it. I want to curl it because I really have in mind these like really, really like small beachy, beachy type curlies. Mm -mm. The skinny one. Ooh, I might use this one in a while. Let's do this one. Okay. Hair tools by Numi. You can see it. Okay, so now I'm going to put on an episode of Grey's Anatomy and curl curl the wig. I also think I need a funky pair of glasses. Oh yeah, when I said to my cardinal research last year, he was all kicked off, said a typo on my table of contents. Yeah, yeah, that's my table of contents. Yeah, it's crazy. It's caused by a buildup of fluid in your skull. So what we will do is insert a shunt, and that will relieve the pressure on your brain. You mean we? You're doing the actual two part of the brain, right? Not that. I think he's a transplant candidate. Do we? <sighs> 
this point out. I know these look like ringlets, but it's a great place to start. What we're gonna do now, and by we, I mean me, but feel free to follow along if you have a mint head of hair. Sea salt spray. Cause nothing says beachy like sea salt. Session label salt spray. so happy i don't know styling wigs makes me feel like i'm back at a hair salon and i haven't styled someone's hair in so long but this is just like i'm gonna do the base of my makeup really really quickly because i find that that is more convenient and then after that i'm gonna glue on the wig and then i'm gonna do my makeup let's love green okay first things first let's get the hair out of our face because i don't like doing my makeup with my hair <laughs> In my face using this primer by Rouge Bunny Rouge foundation I'm using a mix of two this one's too dark for me this one's too light this one is the new dare by Dior and this is by XX Revolution it's like arts and crafts I'm gonna be mixing up my own base color This super brightening concealer by XX Revolution. It's not really brightening, it's just super light for me. <laughs> but I like it. Extremely pigmented though, so it is brightening. It's thick. Some liquid highlight, liquid shimmer, liquid glow booster, baby. Dewy, you know? Like, uh... Glow Barbie, that's what I'm going for. Jennifer Lopez Inglot uh, 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 bronzer. Also gonna do the blush real quick, just so I get it out the way. Um, Colourpop, shook to the coral, coral blush. This also goes all the way up to the temples because I don't know, that's how I like it. Keeping this stuff pretty much only on the skin because it kind of hurts when you glue your hair down uh, to your wig. <laughs> yeah, you're a bit in the way, so. Now, pretty much the most important part of any wig wing. Wig wing. Laying. laying it down. <laughs> I'm waiting for it to dry. I am looking so cosplay drag queen Mary Antoinette that I, I don't even know what vibe I'm going for at this point. I am not gonna lie. I am living for this look so much. <laughs> Let's do some eyebrows. Where are my eyebrow stuff? I need to bring my eyebrow stuff. You know I'm just Prep the eyes. Prep the eyes. Neutral eye base by Kiko. Even though <laughs> I'm not really a big fan of Kiko. Because once they asked me to film a video for them and then they never paid me. Hmm. So realistically, maybe I shouldn't really be advertising their stuff. So just pretend I didn't use that. Pretend I used, I don't know, Colourpop. They send me things. They're nice to me. So, <clears throat> oh shit. <clears throat> but it doesn't actually have a solid mint color. Is it you? This one is too dark. Okay, going in with Flux, I am going in with basically the lightest color and just basically applying it. 
in my inner corner but I think I want to go for a shimmer look so I'm just going to go over it with Mojito Miami Mommy Mojito Mommy It is so wild, I love it so much Ah, we're not done yet I'm actually gonna go ahead and put a bit of this pretty much all over my eyes but just to act as sort of a sticky base Probably should have done this part like kind of all together, but anyways. Oh. Going in with this one. We're just gonna go over the bits we just did now. Don't worry, I'm gonna blend it out. I'm gonna try blend it out with this bad boy. Even though I think blending out with a shimmer shadow in green is not really a great idea. But to make this work it looks stupid now but that's the base great base for anything in life i'm getting fairy vibes and i'm going in with eyeliner i love eyeliner i might do something fancy with it let's try it not sure if these are leaves or wings or petals but i like them Lashes. I forgot my lashes. Lashes by Bellamy. Because I love Bellamy. I'm just using a an eyebrow marker from NYX. And now, because freckles very often are more multi-pigmented, they don't just have one layer of color, they have multiple. I'm going to replicate the lighter pigmented ones with more bronzer. Touching blush. Lips. <laughs> I always like to go in with a darker lip pencil because it creates such an eye shadow and it's still gonna be blended in with the actual lip lipstick. This is ColourPop's Velvet Luxe in Ingenue. And now we just finish it off with some gloss. So she's an influencer <laughs> by Patrick Ta. Um, because I, I like it. It's got little blue hints in it. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, one thing I hate is hair pressing down on my lashes because it does that and then it like pushes down and it like distorts my eye. I'm like, no. <gasps> color the length the thickness the style mm, my god oh my god oh my god the color is phenomenal the color is mind-blowing i'm not really sure if this is what i was expecting mainly because mint is so versatile but there's no real real true color attached to it. I love it so much. The length of it perfects it. Oh my God, it just looks fantastic. Oh my God. It's me, Stella, which is weird. Stella has long hair and it's minty. Cause it looks like the joke's on you. Do, 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 do. You're so the entire procedure and colors and everything will be linked down below. I will also link the original wig in the event that you want to get it, but you're also welcome to try this on yourself. The one thing I will mention if you do try that is your hair has to be extremely light and white based if you want any semblance of mint because mint is an extremely light shade of like a teal. I'm wearing <coughs> mint socks for the procedure. Procedure occasion is what I meant to say. I really, really, really hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you will give it a go and I will see you in my next video. Bye. <laughs>
it's weird because the hair, the curls are much curlier, obviously, at the bottom, and over here it's a bit, like, straight. So it's just a bit, like, distorted, but I like it. It's so funky. And your tears for another day. Oh, yeah.